Hi there, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in West Los Angeles, and today I'm going to discuss with you knife safety. For the most part, the biggest uh, uh, thing that you could do in order to uh, keep your safety uh, at a high level in the kitchen is to keep your knife sharp. Uh, the main reason why people wind up cutting themselves either home or professionally is because their knife has been allowed to get dull. Uh, another thing that's going to be really helpful with regards to knife safety is the proper holding of the knife, especially when you're walking around in your kitchen, either at home or in a professional kitchen. With regards to your knife, just like uh, a lot of us have been taught with scissors, you never want to walk around with the, uh, in the kitchen with your knife like this. You always want to take it and hold it with your arm down along your side, and then that way if you wind up bumping into anything, it's going to be your elbow or your shoulder that does the bumping, and you don't have to worry about stabbing anybody. Um, another thing that's also really important with regards to knife safety is never uh, try to catch your knife if it happens to fall. You're going to help uh, alleviate that also at home if you don't uh, walk away from your kitchen with your knife handle, say hanging over the edge of your table or the edge of your counter. You want to make sure you keep your knife inside. If it is hanging over a little bit and somebody walks by and knocks it and it starts to fall down, just let it fall, okay? Don't go ahead and try and catch it. You're definitely going to increase the risk of cutting yourself. And that is basic knife safety. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can get some additional information. If there's a recipe that you would like to see me make, feel free to send an email to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.